Ocean. My name is Rebecca Leggett, and I was one of the 2006 Noah Holling Scholars. And I just wanted to say thank you once again for getting me to the point where I am in my career right now. I'm currently working on my master's degree at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, studying oceanography and atmospheric science. And I'm currently participating in the NAVOS cruise up in the Arctic Ocean. That stands for the Nansen and Admonson Basin Observational Systems Cruise. So we are taking measurements of the Atlantic water in the Arctic Ocean. And we're also casting a biology nets and doing some meteorological observations, as well as setting down and deploying some moorings. So that's what I'm doing up here, and I just wanted to thank you for sponsoring me back in 2006 to help me complete my undergraduate degree at the University of North Dakota. So thank you so much for supporting scientists like myself, and uh, thank you for helping me get my foot in the door with my internship and that scholarship. So I truly appreciate it, and I hope to continue with a, a career in polar science. So uh, hopefully that's the way it continues to go, and I'll complete my master's degree and maybe go on for my PhD. So thank you once again for your support, and uh, continue to support the great scientists out there that have big dreams like myself. So keep up the great work at Noah Hollings and uh, I look forward to keeping up with what the rest of uh, Noah is working on in the future. Alright, so this is northern Russia that you're looking at here, okay? Here's some islands and over here just off the map is Pittsburgh and Europe is somewhere down over here. So we're looking at Russia and we are right there, the green dot, about 10, not even 10 degrees from the North Pole. Check it out there. There's our latitude, 80 degrees north. And then we have a whole bunch of checklists to go through depending on what we're doing. So I'm in charge of the CTDs. So we are to start, end time, our starting coordinates, and our ending coordinates. So that's part of my job. And over here is where we have these bottle numbers. We have bottle number and depth. So we have to program the computer over there before we do a cast to say what depth we need to open the bottles at and take samples at. Now, so that is from our little cubby up here. Bye cubby, bye cubby. Okay, now we're still in the hangar. And over here is our CTD. So what happens with the CTD, we have a whole bunch of bottles. There's 24 of them in total, and one of these is a CTD, and we call this whole thing a CTD rosette. So this whole big thing goes into the water, and we have little valves here that open it up, so if you want to take samples, you can do that from this little nozzle down here. And you, you pull these, this, this bottom out and the top up, and there's these little hooks up here in the top that we attach these little stringing bow hours to, and it's programmed to flip the latch, so they'll fill with water at a certain depth. And also going up and down then, we, uh, we can take measurements of temperature and salinity and depth. temperature, the green line is density, and this blue line here is salinity. So what we're trying to find up here in the Arctic is the Atlantic water, which is this warm, really saline water that comes up through kind of the Gulf of Mexico, and then kind of goes diagonal across the Atlantic Ocean up here to where we are up in, in the Arctic, above, uh, above Russia and Northern Europe. So where the Atlantic water is right here, we're pretty shallow right now, only one, two, three, four, five, about 600 meters. So this is 600 meters worth of data. And as you can see here, so this right here in the edge right here, this is negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three degrees Celsius of the water. 
So when the red crosses right here is about 20 meters depth. So that's the depth of the Atlantic water layer. And it goes all the way down to approximately 500 meters. So this water layer right here is the Atlantic water. And we can pick that out because the temperature is above zero, meaning it's warm. And it's also very, very saline. See how they kind of bend the same way?